Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you how you can import data from the web into Google Sheets. So what I mean for this, something like a table here. So here I am on Wikipedia. These are Netflix films of 2021. They're in this table. You can use a function that imports them directly into Google Sheets so you have the entire table. Not only can you import the table, you can also limit the columns as you import, import them by adjusting the uh, formula and adding other uh, functions. And then you can also filter them. So you can pull out exactly what you want out of the web. So you have the data that you want to use. So I'm going to show you how to do this on Teachers Tech today. So the data that I'm pulling is from Wikipedia, like I showed you in the intro, and I can put a li link to this uh, where I'm pulling it from down below in the description so you can follow along exactly. I'm gonna select this list of Netflix original films 2021. So you can see that there's a list right here of contents, and then we have this table down here. So I'm gonna import this, and it can be done really quickly into Google Sheets. But what I need to take from this is the URL. So I'm just gonna go Control C or you could right click and copy that also. I'm going to go over to Google Sheets and the function I need to use for this is going to be import HTML. So I'm just going to go to A1 here and start with my equals and I'm going to type import, here it is right here, import HTML. Now you can see the syntax that's gonna be used is the URL, query, index, and local. Uh, if you wanna see more about the definition of these, uh, just click this and to open them up and you can see it will give you a little bit more information. Uh, I'll explain it as I go through. The first part is gonna be the URL. Now it's important to remember you need to use the quotation marks on this. So I'm gonna put the quotation marks first here and then I'm just gonna paste in the formula and then I'm going to put another quotation mark and then a comma. The query if we look it's either going to be a list or a table. So for this example first I'm going to do a table but then I'll switch it over to a list to show you what happens also. So I am going to put table just like this in quotation marks again and then another comma and this one is index. This is going to be on which, uh, which table on the page it is. Uh, so this is just going to be one like so. And I'm just going to close my uh, bracket to end the function and hit enter and it loads in. So this is exactly what it, that from that table is pulled over. But what I want to show you here, uh, if I just click in A1, you can see the formula here. And if I'm, I'm just going to control C, copy this and go to this uh, here just to show an example. If I paste this in, instead of table, if I wrote list, and I'm just going to change it like this, hit return. Now look, it gave me back this because you can have tables and lists on the same page. If I go back and look at this, here was the list that they pulled from here. This was the table, this was the list. So as I change that in the query, you get something else. So I just wanted to point that out for list. And this was the table. Now I wanna show you how you can customize this, whether it be uh, to limit the columns or to filter specific information from that table. I just wanted to point out before I moved on with this uh, with this formula here, notice that uh, there was one part I left out and you don't need it. So if I just turn the formula help on here, uh, you can see they had this in their example and that was the locale right here. You don't need to uh, put anything in for that. So I just left it, uh, it is gonna be kind of default on what was uh, part of the page already. So I just left it, I didn't bother using that. All right, so let's move on by limiting columns. You can see that right now we have one, two, three, four, five columns. Let's say I finally wanted the first two columns. Uh, to speed up things, what I'm gonna do is just copy this formula. I'm gonna go over to a new tab that I have already set up called Filter Data. data. And I'm gonna be in A1 again, and I'm just gonna paste that formula on. But I do need to change this uh, the function or the syntax on it. I need to add another function and that's gonna be the query one. So I'm gonna go up to the very beginning and just type in query like so. But then I need to open uh, have a open bracket like this 
and then I'm going to go to the end of this and this is where I'm going to say, well, what do I want to query here? So I'm going to put a comma. You do need to use the quotation marks on this and I'm going to write select like so. And what do I want to select? Well, I want to select column one and column two. So I could put column one like so, column two like this, and then I end my quotation marks and then my bracket so that I'm closing that uh, query also. So I hit enter and now I've only brought in the two columns. So using it that way, you can uh, go through and pick the columns from the web page to quickly bring in that to Google Sheets. So the last thing I want to show you is how you could uh, bring in a specific uh, part of this table where you can kind of add a filter to it. So I'm going to do a little copy and pasting again to save some time. I'm going to just select everything up here and control C. Now I'm going to go to my next tab and I am going to just go in A1 again and I'm going to paste it in. So I'm going to keep query the same here, uh, but what I need to do is change at this point here. Uh, so what I'm going to change is I'm going to select, this is going to be where I'm going to put an asterisk, asterisk first. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this here. So I do need an asterisk like so. And at this point, I'm going to type the word where. And I need to say that column two is going to equal something. So I'm going to add right after here, I'm going to say column two equals. And at this point, what does it equal? So this is where I need to put an apostrophe and I'm going to write drama and close the apostrophe like this. So make sure you have your quotation marks at the beginning here and then at the end. Uh, but then the word that you're searching for, make sure that you have the apostrophes around it. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Notice it pulled back this time anything in column two that is drama. So it went through that whole list and now it filtered back this. So you can really pull out specific information from these tables. So I hope you like this little tutorial on how to import data from the web into Google Sheets. I find this even handy if I need to kind of practice data sometimes is just to pull it in from the web and then I can uh, even show examples to you guys when I'm creating my tutorials. So thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.